Let's get out of the and uh, I'm going to show you my little Python script that I created. It's a terrain script where you can uh, ba make height maps. So you start by just creating a plane. It's just a simple Maya plane you just create. And uh, you can use Maya's own settings just to change the plane's density, poly density. Let's go high because I want to get some nice details. It's not that really high though. <laughs> so you got uh, your plane here. You can toggle wireframe, which is nice. So when you edit, terrain, you can actually toggle the wireframe off and still be able to edit the terrain, which is quite nice for the people who want to see what they're actually doing. So let's do, this terrain looks pretty decent for now, you can smooth things out with shift button. You can also use attribute maps and import own height maps, I real I don't have one right now, but you could actually just put in uh, any height map, or you can render out clouds from Photoshop and just stick it in there and it still, it would just render it perfectly in this one. And the fun part is now that you can use the hype map shader just by creating a hype map shader in there. This is the output, and you can bake this out to transfer maps and just make a texture out of that, and you're done. You can also continue editing your terrain. It doesn't chain dynamically, as you see here, but you can just press this little button here called re Reload Hype Map, and it does it and creates a uh, project projections refreshes so it gets uh, a perfect nice uh, little hype map going on here so if you can delete the shader this is switch back to Lambert but I haven't implemented that yet because it has had a much important um, let's see create a donut to the map, create a little sphere, just put there, put that in here or something. So let's say you're adding custom objects like a chain of mountains going around here, like high detail from ZBrush or something. You can actually add it here and just combine it with this height map shader. And the best part is it seamlessly uh, crosses over the height map. So you get no artifacts whatsoever, which is really nice.